Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If you love the old school feel of games, hard nosed, smash mouth running attacks like the ones Bo Schembechler had back in the day at Michigan, this is right in your wheelhouse. A couple of great ground games here today. Both offenses not only love to run the football, they insist on running the football. Toughness will be at a premium. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. with excited fans who've come to watch one exciting football game. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Texas lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Excellent kick. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 20. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Boyd's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches it. I love this guy, and let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. from their own 20-yard line. Second down. Got a man tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. It's third and 14. Ball on the 16. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. He chucks it downfield. The defender had it and then dropped it. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. Dukes awaits the snap. He's at the 30, and down he goes at the 28. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. And they make the stop at the 25. That's good for a game in three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 25. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll bring up third and four. around the 10-yard line. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line.
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. Decent pickup. That's a deep and four on the way. That makes it third and goal. It's third and goal from the five. Let's see if they can put this one in. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick release. Tight end. Incomplete. That brings us fourth and goal. Texas could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he's got it. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, the Sooners had a spot in the top ten at number seven. They believe that performance proved the point that they belong. And for Oklahoma, they put together four straight wins. And for Holmes, he hauled in more than 100 yards worth of passing. The Sooners win it big. In other games, the Bulldogs were ranked ninth in the country. After that performance, I think we all see why. And for North Texas, they've now dropped three in a row. Doyle, smooth coming out of his breaks, and he's sure-handed around the goal line, and it resulted in a pair of touchdown catches. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Atkins has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. The Longhorns really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. He's taken down right around the 30. The Wildcats have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Listen to this place. Mike three. Mike three. Quick pass. He's tackled right around the 40. Man, that's tough for this defense. They came so close to stopping the conversion, but they'll have to stay out there again now. First and 10. Ball on the 40. Takes the ball inside. They'll bring him down at the 40. Receiver. And down he goes around the 49 yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. mask. Defense. Defense. They're giving away oh, three man. yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. From the 36 yard line. First down. Gets out to around the 28. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it second and two. Runs outside for a nice game. This is so difficult to defend. Well, this is a perfect illustration of how to run the option, and it was perfect enough to get the first right there. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Yeah, 
Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He gets hit out of bounds around the 17-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. It's the ninth play of the drive. Carries the ball for a nice game. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Well, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. From the 13-yard line, first down. We played one quarter. Texas leads 3-0. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. And he's tackled around the 12 yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's the 11th play of the drive. go with him again and he'll be taken down behind the line well that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football they know what this team likes to run and they got the better of them that time third down again looks to the end zone and it's caught touchdown Tax on the extra point. So an 11 play, 63 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Kansas State to kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 35. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's got the corner. And he's taken down at midfield. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. to get the first here on second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Got a man, watch out here. Tackle made at the 12-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. Tackled for a loss. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. Tight down, tight down. There you go. Hey, alert 48. Hey, go back to 48. Right now, let's go. 
He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 14-yard line. Oh, and almost picked off. Hamilton was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and 12. Kicks up, and it's good. Texas is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle at the 44-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Kansas State is up one. Nice run there. Boy, picked up about seven yards there after getting the ball on the draw play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 29. Gain of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10. back you've got to get up field north and south that time he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read get up field as quickly as possible in college football and especially up in the nfl the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you and that's what happens down and they need to get it to the 19. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Harris gains six yards with a short completion. Decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. <laughs> he threw that ball so hard, I don't think anybody wanted to catch it. That brings up third and ten. Short pass, middle of the field. Tackle at the 44. The Longhorns taking their first time out of the half. 
from their own 44-yard line. First down. He throws right. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He airs it out through his hands. We've played a half. The Wildcats lead 7-6. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackle. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah, we loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. they got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. That's a great tackle at the 41-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. Being one-dimensional on first down can really stack the odds against you. It's better to mix it up. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And he's finally brought down at the 30-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 30. Makes it out to about the 19. From the 19 yard line, first down. it again and this time he's hit hard in the backfield did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play that's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss the 10 nice play to set up first and goal
First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. They come out in a five-wide set. And they won't get the two. They go with a pass, but they come away with nothing. It's tough to decide what to call on these two-pointers. Maybe next time they'll just try to hand it off. Texas. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. He has some room. They'll bring him down at the 49. Second and one. Try right, try right. Go down, go down. Mike three, Mike three. Fumble, fumble, fumble. Tackled after a decent pickup. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. From the 45 yard line. First down. Down right around the 44 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Mike three. Mike three. Run. Feeds it to the back. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. They'll work the left. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. And that's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 42-yard line. They'll work the right side. They bring him down in the backfield. Loss of four on the play. That brings up third and 12. Mike six. Mike six. 
He's taken down around the 35-yard line. That'll make it fourth and 14. Upshaw awaiting the return. He makes it to the 35-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. their own 31 yard line second down tackle after a decent run up the gut brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play who can open it up in the fourth quarter whoever does has got a great chance to win the Longhorns lead is five Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. And he's tackled at the 46. And so it's another third down upcoming here. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Up the middle for a nice game. First down. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. Second and eight, ball on the 39-yard line. Mike three, Mike three. Now he's scrambling. They bring the quarterback down. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. They can't hear a thing down there. He wants it all going long. This one will fall incomplete. Harris was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Dukes, he'd like to change field position with this punt. This punch goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Oh, here we go, Herbie. you got to love it. Final few minutes. It's crunch time. Love to get into the fourth quarter with the game still yet to be determined. We'll find out who's going to make a play to win this thing. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick throw out to the receiver, and down he goes at the 27. They 
they need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Receivers got the first down. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 48. Let's go! Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Two-yard pickup. This was just a little dump-off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. to the halfback and he's got it again tackle at about the 45 five yards here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver but it's a nice gain of five. Third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down he gets out to about the 37 yard line well, the execution of this offense has been on display here on this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Gets out to around the 25. From the 25-yard line, first down. it up the middle for a nice run. This is the eighth play of this drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. much of an offense today. It's final. Texas 12, Kansas State 7. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.